Hey guys! So I want to share this great upper body workout with you. Pretty basic, you should be able to do it at any gym. Doesn't require a lot of special equipment or anything like that. So this is going to hit most of your major muscle groups in your upper body. So your back, your shoulders, your biceps, and your triceps. Uh, I did leave out chest in this uh, workout. I don't work it out all the time. I don't have my clients work it out all the time. Just because we already tend to sit so much that our shoulders hunch forward and we get really tight in this chest area. And women don't usually need to or want to develop that quite as much. So you can throw that in here every once in a while, but for now just focusing on those back muscles to help pull your shoulders back and other exercises that will develop your arms, give them some shape. Uh, so try this out, let me know how it goes, and I'll voice over the workout for you just to kind of show, explain what I'm doing um, and how you should work out as well. So enjoy this workout. So I started with back doing a lat pull down because this is a good big movement that's going to hit a lot of your back, engage a little bit of your shoulders, engage your biceps. One thing to be really careful of on this, however, I see a lot of people do this wrong in the gym. You really want to make sure that when you start the movement, you're engaging your lats and you're pulling with your back. This is not a bicep movement or a shoulder movement, so you really want to make sure that you're pulling with your back muscles to get the weight down. And then I superset this with bicep curls, the reason being you're working your biceps already when you're doing the lat pull down. So this is a great way to kind of wear them out quickly. Uh, and keep keep your workout moving um, and hit multiple muscle groups. Uh, and so after supersetting this, then I went on to shoulders. And this is another big movement for shoulders. This is called the Arnold Press. Um, so you're pressing, you're doing a normal shoulder press where your arms are at 90 degrees, you press straight up overhead, but when you come down you bring it in front of you and it's almost like a chest press or a chest fly. So you're engaging your chest to bring it forward your rear delts to bring it back, um, and your shoulders to get it up. So this is a really good, again, big movement that's going to hit a lot of your muscle groups at once. Um, and this is just a fun way to mix it up uh, for shoulders rather than just the standard shoulder press. Um, to make it a bit more challenging, you might want to go a little bit lighter weight on these. And then I supersetted this with rear delt flies. And I'm standing up on the machine so that I can really target more of my rear delts and not engage so much of my traps. It's very easy to hunch up your shoulders and engage a lot of your traps in this exercise. So I stand up um, because I'm short uh, to try and hit those rear delts a little bit better. And it doesn't have to be a big huge movement. I'm not doing it um, all the way back to engage my back. I'm really just trying to mostly hit the rear delts. And then I move from shoulders to tricep extensions. Um, so this is just you're bent over at almost 90 degrees. Your elbows stay in right by your sides. Um, and then you just kick back. This is called a tricep kickback. So you just kick back the weight straight behind you, squeezing your triceps when you come back. Um, be careful not to use too much momentum on those. Uh, and then just to superset, because that tricep exercise is not using a lot of energy, um, or using too many muscles. I just super said this with some abs um, since I was right there at the bench Just throw in some abs between the resting periods just to keep the heart rate up and uh, get a little ab work at the same time So there you go. That's an entire upper body workout really basic also including core a uh, great one to try especially if you're a bit pressed for time uh, So give this a try <laughs> 